Back to the top story we are tracking here on DD India News, that of the maritime tensions between China and the Philippines in the South China Sea. Joining me is my colleague Laura Westbrook, who is in Hong Kong. Laura, wh why are the tensions escalating between the two countries in question and what's the root cause of it all? Yes, well, we've just heard reports uh, today from China's Coast Guard that it says that it claims that uh, it, a Philippine ship has bumped into it in these disputed waters in the South China Sea. Now, this comes after, on Saturday, China's Coast Guard said that it's implemented these new rules that allows its Coast Guard to detain foreigners in the South China Sea. It says that foreign ships that illegally entered China's territorial waters and adjacent waters may be detained. And this also comes after the Philippines on Saturday submitted a legal filing to the United Nations for own maritime entitlement to an extended continental shelf in the disputed waters. Um, it also said the, the defense minister also says that they will be looking to take measures to protect the fishermen in the South China Sea. This is a, an extremely important waterway. Trillions of dollars have passed through it every year. Um, it's also an extremely important fishing uh, waterway as well. Uh, China claims almost all the South China Sea, but the Philippines and other countries also have these competing claims. And as we've seen in recent uh, days and even, e even in recent weeks, there has been this sort of escalating tension between these two sides between the Philippines and China uh, being increasingly assertive in their claims in the South China Sea. Now talking about this latest provocation uh, or a flashpoint as it were, uh, Laura, is there any truth at all to China's latest claims and has Manila responded to these claims yet? So this is coming from uh, China's uh, state media that has said that uh, that has claimed that a Philippine ship has bumped into one of its ships in uh, this disputed South China Sea. Uh, we've not heard yet from the Philippines, um, but we'll we'll wait and watch to hear. But this really is sort of the latest in uh, these increasingly tense and frequent encounters between these two sides. Uh, we've seen the Chinese Coast Guard use water cannon. They've also had collisions with Philippine vessels. They've, that has also injured some Philippine uh, fishermen and, and Philippine um, uh, uh, people as well on, on, those, on those ships. And uh, we have also heard from the G7 over the weekend where they said that uh, they these dangerous incursions by China in the waterway. China, though, has defended these new Coast Guard rules that allows it to uh, de detain foreigners that it says are illegally trespassing in its waters. It says that these were better intended to better uphold uh, order at the sea, saying that it has been, uh, that its limits um, uh, its limits have been, uh, it's, it has limits to its restraint in the South China Sea. But we really are seeing a more assertive Philippines, uh, especially with the backing of the United States. President Marcos has said that he, um, he will defend his sovereignty in the South China Sea. And we've also heard from the defense minister over the past week who has said that China's claims re represent an existential threat to to, um, to uh, excess threat in these contested waters. So this really is an issue that has, looks like it's not going away. And the, uh, the worry for many and the looming threat is that these increasingly in 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 combative encounters could escalate into something bigger.